This is Openly Hostile Opinions. With your host, Casey and Jay. What the hell is wrong with you? I can do anything I want to do, but Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's show of Openly Hostile Opinions. My name is Casey, and with me, you can see Jay got a sex change. Uh, he looks a lot different, for anyone wondering. No, I'm just joking. It's my neighbor, Ashley. Ashley, the neighbor. Ashley, the neighbor. Yay. I don't have any sound effects because Jay's on vacation. Um, he's getting surgery to become taller. Uh, <laughs> no, he's at the beach. So uh, I am co-hosting with my neighbor, Ashley. Me and Ashley known each other for, what, a year? A little yeah, over a year. We had like a Facebook one year anniversary yeah. like a month ago or something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what happens when Jay shaves. Jay's in her chat if you want to make fun of him for how short he is or any uh, anything else you want to. So, uh, yeah. Jay, if you're listening, uh, don't let Amanda go in the water when she's on her period. A shark will eat her. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. It happens. <laughs> there was a guy that um, they interviewed him on TV and they asked, so why is there so many shark attacks lately? He says, well, a lot of women are going swimming on their periods lately, and that's why the sharks are eating them. So uh, you can't be serious. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm dead serious. Wow. Dead serious. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, uh, Ashley doesn't really drink beer. But we're going to force her to because that's America and that's what we do here. We force everyone else's opinions on each other. So uh, Ashley actually picked this one out. It is Otto's. Uh, Otto's is about an hour and a half from us. If anyone's familiar with State College, Pennsylvania, where the Penn State rape, I mean uh, Penn State, <laughs> Penn State plays uh, the football team. They're, this is from there. Uh, it's a good friend of my friend Ron's that owns his own restaurant. So, uh, yeah, it's Otto's Apricot Wheat. Mm. I don't know if you can see the label here. Ashley's scared because she hates beer. I hate it. <laughs> so let's go. Uh, cheers, mate. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like it? You don't at all? I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever <laughs> Really? So you like Great Lakes. Yeah. Um, what was it called? I don't know. She likes this beer. She was on the show. She comes on every once in a while. Uh, she liked this one beer we had called Great Lakes, and I can't remember what kind of Great Lakes it was, but she liked that, but she doesn't like this for some reason. Too much apricot or too much I beer taste? No, too much apricot. Really? Yeah. A girl that hates fruity. <laughs> Is apricot really fruity, though? Yeah, it's a fruit. Yeah, but isn't it like a, a bitter fruit? I don't know. I don't know that I've ever had an apricot. Really? I don't know. What I is your favorite fruit? Bananas? Frozen hot dogs? <laughs> yes. That's it. That's definitely it. Yeah. Uh, probably strawberries? Strawberries are good. Yes. Actually, strawberries are the only fruit with seeds on the outside. That was a quizzo question one night. <laughs> I feel like that's the only quizzo easy question yeah. that you've ever given. Yeah. Out. I don't really like going to quizzo right now. Jason's totally like anti going to quizzo right now. Why is he so anti going to quizzo? Because all the summer people have arrived and it's not fun now. What are summer people? I don't know. The people that are there that like like last week when that was like packed with people we didn't know. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So summer people, are We're they a like... a team of two, man, going against <laughs> teams of like 10. Yeah, we have like doctors and shit that come into play, so it gets a little crazy. I mean, we used to like hang out. Like we used to be like, you know, a good yeah. second place, third place. Like mm -hmm. we, one time we won. But... Yeah, yeah. But no, I don't feel like we're in the running. No, really? No. Not at all. You hey, feel this? what was the answer to that question the other night? What question? The, um, what's the longest uh, street in New York City? Broadway. Fuck. It was 16 miles. Yeah, it actually goes through Manhattan and shit, Brooklyn, I think. It actually goes through two boroughs. I think it's the only street in New York City that goes through two boroughs. Don't quote me on that. I could be fucking wrong. I feel better, though, because I told uh, Ron's team there that um, um, that they had Park Place. And then I told them that I thought it was Fifth Ave. 
<laughs> park Place from uh, the McDonald's Monopoly game? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know there was a Park Place in New York City. I, I don't think there is. I think it's in Atlantic City. I think that's where the original Monopoly came from was um, uh, streets in Atlantic City. I'm not sure. but Or the surrounding area, at least. Because yeah. like, Pennsylvania's got stuff on there. Like, yeah. Reading Railroad. And... Yeah. That's true, because Pennsylvania's awesome. hate that game. <laughs> yeah, me and Jay, uh, we, we play it with his daughters, and his daughters always kick our ass, like, every fucking time. The one's 10. I think the other's, like, 6 or something. I'm going to say 6, 7. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know, Jay. You, you can't believe Kevin all the time. Kevin's a fucking douche. <laughs> but anyways, getting back to the beer, um, I like it. I don't know. It's, like, the only beer that I will drink um, that has fruit in it. Because, first of all, I don't put penises in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> I don't think beer should have fruit in them, but I, I think it's delicious. Ashley, you don't really like it. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't. <laughs> I don't like it, but I still like more this kind of beer than a regular beer. Like yeah. Like a Budweiser. Yeah, I you're right, Jason, Jade. But that tastes like shit. Yeah, I know. His his uh, boyfriend, I almost said his girlfriend. <laughs> Well, it's the 50 states of gay, that, you know, so well, who knows? <laughs> but her boyfriend drinks Budweiser, and she hates Budweiser. I don't know how you can hate Budweiser because it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> but if I if I would rate this beer, um, I really like it. I would give it four and a half Heath Ledger overdoses out of five. <laughs> That's what I'm giving it. I think it tastes delicious. Try it if you're ever in the Pennsylvania area around State College. It's Otto's Apricot Wheat. Yes. Indeed. Yes. 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 So uh, I'm glad to be doing the show today. Uh, me and Ashley were hanging out earlier today, and we're just getting sick of adulting. Yeah, I'm done. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we've just been having some fucking adult issues lately, and we're sick of it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> over it. Yeah. We're I got up early. Yeah. Adults. I know. I don't, I don't like getting up early. Ashley got up early. She has all this shit to deal with. She's planning a funeral uh, for the first time in your life, right? Yep. Yep. Did that this afternoon. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. She hates it. Mm -hmm. um, I planned a funeral once in my life, and it fucking sucked. <laughs> Everyone wants money, and you're not the fucking Federal Reserve, so you can't give it to them. And, um, yeah, you're a power of attorney, right? Yeah. Who else? Anyone else? Yeah, my aunt is a uh, power of attorney, and, well, my grandmother is mm -hmm. um, until my grandfather passes, and then um, I am then over me. Yes. Yeah, she went and picked out the, the coffin, Yeah. the vault whole nine yards the there. whole nine yards hmm. yeah and then i warned her about you know specific family members <laughs> that you'll start hearing from all of a sudden when people die and uh it's already starting her grandfather isn't dead yet but people are already starting to contact her yes and be nice all of Aww. a sudden <laughs> it's ridiculous this woman has never even ever been to my grandfather's house and has never i i mean like, I don't even really know her. I know her stories. Yeah. I know her rumors. Well, tell about the story. Which story? Uh, the Just about the Walmart, the oh, house. Okay. So this woman, like, look, I'm not even going to be ashamed. Like, that <laughs> side of my family sometimes doesn't make the best decisions. And so, you know, this woman has pretty much spent her entire life living off of fraud or ways to get money without having to do anything and i mean really i kind of respect it a little bit <laughs> but however she has sued walmart twice i have no idea what for but both times she received a million dollar settlement um but that money has been since spent on fines and things of such nature as she burned her own house down and <laughs> you know maybe you can get away with arson sometimes but she legitly removed everything from her home that she wanted to keep, like appliances, her couch, you know, chairs, things like that, and moved them into the garage and then burn her house down. Well, in the process, her neighbors watched her do the entire thing. And then, of course, when the insurance people came out, they were told that, in fact... <laughs> So, so let that be a lesson to you guys. If you're going to burn your house down and collect the fraud money, don't move all your stuff that you don't want burned in the garage. Or at your... least do it at nighttime <laughs> when people can't see you move the I shit. Hell, Hellfire said, uh, I'm doing good, Hellfire. How are you doing? Yes, Jade did become more attractive. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I don't really feel like that's um, 
Yeah, a compliment. A to big Jay. accomplishment, <laughs> though, <Meg. laughs> Uh Yeah, Jay's on vacation, Hellfire. So I have my neighbor here, Ashley, um, co-hosting with me. She's been on a show a couple times, uh, mostly back when we weren't live streaming yet. So uh, she's getting used to the whole live streaming thing. We're looking here at the laptop. When did Jay convert? Um, I think when Trump became president. I don't know. <laughs> that is true, Jay. Your boobs are bigger than hers. <laughs> yeah, Jay's on vacation, I think, till next Tuesday. Jay will be on the show next Tuesday. I think they get back that day, actually. And they're going to, uh, Jay's going to do the show next Tuesday. But until then, um, Ashley, you're stuck with Ashley and her smaller boobs than Jay. <laughs> yeah, Hellfire. Uh, Jay will be back next week. So you can make fun of us for being gay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hellfire makes fun of us a lot for being gay. I don't know why, but I don't know. Do we look gay? You thought you thought I was gay when you first met me, I didn't did. you? I did. But I she did. doesn't have hairy boobs. No. What was it about me that you thought that made me that made you think I was gay? I think this thing. Hold on. Um. There we go. Oh, there you go. Sorry. <laughs> uh. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't I know. I don't know. For some reason, when people meet me for the first time, they think I'm gay for some reason. I have no, I have no idea why. I don't know. Well, I did have one person. I'm a bartender, and uh oh, we have a phone call. Oh. Who this? Hello, new phone. Who this? <laughs> hey. Hey. Who, who? What does it make somebody think you're gay? Uh, I don't know. Smarties. Free candy? I don't know. I thought he was like instantly, like in like 10 minutes after I met him, like I was sincerely convinced he was gay. Maybe it's because he didn't I'm hit on me. I'm entirely convinced he's not. It's because I didn't hit on you? Maybe that's it. Everybody, I was wasted. Ev <laughs> every other guy God damn, does, how like, fucking conceited are you? Oh, come on now. You know I am. <laughs> So if you were any more full of yourself, you'd have to hang a cup out of your ass to catch the excess. <laughs> <laughs> so how's vacation, Jay? I see you're still alive. Amanda's not swimming with her period to get attacked by a shark or anything, is she? No, no, she did not. No, we had a good time so far. None of us are burnt to a crisp. And uh, I'm sitting here working on my tan, listening to the ocean breeze, and you two idiots have to do a show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy going to work the rest of the week. Yeah, I know. Except I don't work at all. So yeah, she doesn't work. I'll just enjoy. Oh, so so every day for you is like this for me. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, there's basically. no there's no beaches around here. No. Are you getting wasted? There's plenty of bitches. Oh, I bet, man. They're at my house all the time. Hi, Chelsea. Love you. Actually, there's probably so many women around you right now. I can smell their vaginas through the microphones. <laughs> To be perfectly honest with you, I don't know whether it's them or the fishy smell in the air from the uh, from the whole seafood thing. Oh, really? Did you have any seafood today? Uh, no, no, I did not. We went to uh, Big Peckers for for lunch today, though, and had a wonderful club sandwich and a tall, fr frosty beer. Um, I saw that yesterday. You posted that you were going on vacation early with Yards Brewing. Did you see that Yards Brewing Company liked it? They retweeted I did, it. I did. <laughs> they retweeted it on Twitter, <laughs> on Twatter. That's because that's because Yards is the best. Yes, they are. I actually there was a couple that came into the bar one night, and I was, uh, yeah. Hellfire said you had a cock sandwich. Don't lie. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Um, like a tube steak. Yeah. So you had no seafood yet. Do you even like seafood? What was that? Pizza? <laughs> what? <laughs> Ninja Turtle? I said, do you even like seafood? I I like pizza. No seafood. So no. Oh seafood, seafood. Jeez. Sorry, this connection sucks. Oh really? Yeah, I love I love seafood. No. Oh. So what what else do you have planned? Are you going to see any like cool exhibits? Do they have like a Ripley's Believe It or Not or anything down there? What beach? They are you do. At? Yeah, what beach are you at? I'm at uh, Ocean City, Maryland. Oh, I've never been to that beach actually. You should. It's my favorite place in the world. Yeah. Yeah. I always hear where everybody says it's a good place there. I've usually taken abs to Myrtle Beach. I like Myrtle Beach a lot. Well, yeah, but that's like far away and shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. True story. True story. I like Ocean City, Maryland better than like New Jersey or Myrtle because it's more of a college town. Yeah. It's oh, like yeah. uh, I love it here. Yeah, a lot of more college people go to the one in Maryland than the one in New Jersey. New Jersey and stuff in Myrtle Beach, so that's more like family. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to see girls' pussy lips hanging out of their swimsuits, you go to the one in Maryland. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, well, keep Amanda under control there, then, with that swimsuit. And what happens in Ocean City stays in Ocean City, I guess. Hell. Keep under control. She kicked my ass while I tried to stop her from doing something she wanted to do. Yeah, that's true, too. That <laughs> yeah, she's true Polish. Too. Don't fuck with Amanda. She's Polish, and she'll kick your ass. She's a strong bitch. <laughs> even, even She works out, and I don't. Yeah. She, as I said, she's a strong bitch. Jay even, Jay even admits that he could uh, uh, get his ass kicked by Amanda. <laughs> Like I said, she works out. I don't. Yeah. Are you on the beach right now? No, I'm in the hotel room. If I was on the beach, you wouldn't be able to hear a fucking thing I was saying. Oh, yeah. All these fucking women probably yelling hashtag and all this shit. No, it's just really windy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is the weather weather shit down there right now? Uh. Oh, no. Weather's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I told you about Greg, right? Yeah, yeah, he's out. I know. Uh, Yeah, for anyone... (laughs) Me and Jay have a friend that went to jail, and he got out last night. <laughs> and I'm sorry I said your name. I didn't mean to say his name. <laughs> oh, I hope he's not watching this show. Yeah. Hey, I'm glad he's out. I tried to try to get in touch with him uh, on Hangouts, and he didn't say anything yet, so I don't know. Yeah. He's just been getting me through um, Facebook or whatever like that. Yeah, and he was telling. I don't know, I don't know if he's going to log into it or not. I don't know. I don't have Facebook, so I can't really tell. Yeah, get with the times, Jay. <laughs> Fuck that shit. I said after MySpace, no more. <laughs> hey, did you have a MySpace, Ash? I did, very briefly, oh, though. Jesus Christ, MySpace. Ugh. Can't complain about All right, it though. Well, I'll I'll let you kids go back to your show, and I'll go back to uh, you know watching my kids almost drown and shit. Okay, oh, nice. Okay, good. Yeah. Have Make a good sure one, Jay. Don't. Later, guys. See ya. Bye. Okay, that was Jay. No. <laughs> yeah, I saw that Hellfire. Did you see what Hellfire said? No. He says, give up, Jay. I need to make a move on you. <laughs> <laughs> I told you people in chat were going to hit on you. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Uh, see, that's the only thing I don't like. No, but I saw Chelsea's quick response. Oh, what did Chelsea Did you say? see Chelsea's no, quick response? Didn't... Ashley is taken. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she is. <laughs> Ashley is dating my best friend, Jason. Well... I don't know if it's best friend. Jason says I'm his best friend, but Jason doesn't open a lot, so I don't trust him. <laughs> I'm probably Jason's best friend, but... They yeah, have to be. So when's the marriage coming? I mean, as soon as he proposes. I know, but you want such an expensive ring. I don't, <laughs> Yes, you no, do. I have minimized. Like, I've gone from, like, demanding a $5,000 ring to, oh like... My God, man. <laughs> only, like, a, a thousand and a half fish. <laughs> a thousand and a half. So you went down about four thousand dollars. Yeah, that's a significant <laughs> amount. I'm surprised money. you went down four thousand dollars because knowing you, I thought it'd be like two dollars. No, no. I what, what, what's a ring? I I gotta ask. What is so special about a ring to a woman when getting married? <laughs> is it just because people died for the diamond? <laughs> <laughs> that's a horrible question. <laughs> that's not a horrible question. I th- I think the chat you know wants why? to know this. I'll tell you what. I'm like. Oh hate it when you ask me honest women questions why because honestly (laughs) women want big expensive beautiful diamond (laughs) rings because other women have big expensive beautiful (laughs) diamond rings and no other woman can be better than what you are so they cannot have a bigger more expensive ring than what you have oh okay so say (laughs) <laughs> say you're in the grocery store, okay, and Jason proposed to you, and you have this ring, and you see this fucking cunt that you don't like. She has a bigger ring. You're going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, I, I hope you're watching. <laughs> I'm not going to be pissed. I would be like, ew, why does that cunt get to have a bigger ring than me? Because of money. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jay. That's what, if I ever propose to a girl, I'm giving her a twist tie. Bullshit. Because rings are too expensive. All these little African kids die trying to get diamonds. <laughs> well, at least they got jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What, what's the, what is the, there's a certain pay amount that a man should pay for a ring. Isn't it like months or something of a paycheck or it's something? It's like percentage or something of what you make a year. Yeah. What, what is it up to now? I don't remember what it was now. Like 10% or something? Oh, really? So 10% 10 of what you make a year. Am I allowed to look that up on my phone? (laughs) I don't know. Oh, no, I can't. So say you make $100,000 a year. Like, what's the ring going to be? Like, fucking, it has to be $10,000? 
Do yeah. they even make ten thousand dollar rings? Oh, you fucking get it. <laughs> Jeez. Listen. And this is why women are three months salary. Okay, I knew it was something like yeah. that, Jay. It's it's three months. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. So, like, I well, that's oh, Jason. So, so <laughs> men have to buy the engagement ring, plus they have to buy the wedding band, right? You're supposed to kind of buy the wedding band as a couple. Oh, okay. And then, so you also buy the wedding band for the men, the man as a couple. Yeah. I've never been married, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you kind of, you go out and pick out your wedding bands together. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just hate love. Fuck love. I'm you miserable. <laughs> yeah, I do. He's miserable because he wants a girlfriend. No, I don't want a girlfriend. Yes, I want a whole. <laughs> you don't. Yes, I do. I mean, you do, but yeah. you want a whole that is connected to a permanent girlfriend. I'm, yeah, but, but here's the thing. What can I get from a woman that I already can't give to myself besides sex? A lot. <laughs> like what? Women take care of you. Not anymore. That's not true. I take care of Jason. Yeah, you do because you were actually, you have hopes and dreams. A lot of women I meet don't have hopes and dreams. Well, you're meeting the wrong women. That's because they don't exist. My, my friend Ron. I'm not the only <laughs> one in the world left. <laughs> my friend Ron told me that women, good women are like parking spaces. All the good ones are taken and the rest are handicapped. And I truly believe that. <laughs> I truly believe that. I think that, especially being in your 30s, I think it's hard to meet people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, after your first divorce, you've probably come to realize that. That yeah. dating. I like how you said first divorce. Like, there's going to be so many more. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Jason's not watching, so I can talk shit about <laughs> He's doing inventory right now for his job that he fucking hates. <laughs> I wish they would just fucking fire him. Yeah, he, he hates his job. He works for this big corporation. And you know what I really like wish? Shit. What? I really wish he'd just quit. That's what I really wish. I know, but then he can't get employment. I know he can't. I mean, maybe we could fight it. But isn't there some but, cases where you can quit and you can get yes, unemployment? there are. And I think that we could prove it. Yeah. But I, I, honestly, like, I don't know. I don't. I just think he should just quit. Like, I think he should just quit. I'm not saying that it's the right answer. I'm yeah. fried all the time. I don't... <laughs> yes, she smokes a lot of the devil's lettuce. Let's just put it that way. Gets me through, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh pot actually gives me anxiety i know people that do it i because i have anxiety yes because you have anxiety uh when i smoke it it gives me anxiety do you know anyone else like that that it gives yeah, them anxiety yeah, yeah. yeah people who get worked up they get um very paranoid yeah. yeah and i just i hate that i hate it when i can feel my fucking every blood cell in my body moving <laughs> I, I get really high. I'm not sure if I've ever felt any drug that's made me do that. Oh my god, yeah. I can feel my lungs expanding. I oh it's horrible. <laughs> like I could feel my like yeah, I know, Jay. Life gives me anxiety. <laughs> it does. Yo, life gives me anxiety too. He's not alone. Yeah. We're just sick of adulting, like we said earlier. We uh when we went to go and pay out the beer, we were just bitching about life. We just, you should see the conversations me and Ashley have. It's usually just us screaming. It really is. <laughs> it's your people that drive by, like, have to honestly think, like, as we're driving, that we're completely either screaming at each other or completely psycho. I know. I thought that. I was like, I hope people don't think we're, like, you know, fighting because mm -hmm. we're just getting our anger out <sighs> about stupid shit. Like, I don't even, you know, I'm just so over having to, like I told you, fix other people's shit. Like, I hate it when I got a call and complain. I, I hate it when I have to call a fucking insurance company about a medical bill mm -hmm. because it wasn't done correctly by the hospital. Not my fucking problem. Yeah, I know. And that's the thing. Like, people, I think they just do it to be dicks because people that are passive will just be like, okay. Do you have any idea how many people probably do? I mean, realistically, on, on, yeah, on that's probably why they do it. that are like maybe like 25, 50 bucks, people aren't even going to pay attention. They're just going to think that's their deductible or what yeah. their insurance didn't cover. And they're going to send it in when it realistically should have been covered and they didn't fight it. Yeah, exactly. I remember my mom, uh, her husband got a colostomy bag, okay, because he got his colon ripped out. So she asked the nurse, hey, you know, I'm going to be living with him with his colostomy bag. Can you just show me real quick how, what you're doing, how you're changing the bag? They charged her $500 for a teaching session. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, what? I... To look how you change a colostomy bag? This is not... I'm currently fighting with the hospital from when I had... Um my tubes removed from my body so I could no longer 
Haveth the children. The Haveth, Haveth yeah. the children. Have, yeah. Can you refer to me as my grace from now on, by the way? <laughs> no. I told, no. I'm totally. You're watching too much Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you want to be called my grace. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. We got Ashley. Uh, me and her boyfriend got Ashley hooked to Game of Thrones. She just finished the second season. So she's starting the third, and that's when stuff gets interesting. I cannot wait till she calls me bawling. <laughs> oh, no! Man, there's so much disappointment in the shit you people make me watch. Vikings happened, and I was like, oh, my God, I need to watch this, and I'm so in love with him. And then all of a sudden, he just dies. Thanks for ruining it for everyone. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, Ashley did that to me. I was watching Vikings, all right? And I was like, I haven't watched the new season yet. Don't fucking tell me what happens. Her boyfriend's like, oh, he dies. I'm like, fuck you, man. So I don't watch it anymore. I was like, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Ragnar, that's who dies, yeah. Yes. Who said that? Huh? Who just somebody say that? Did someone say what? That Ragnar dies. I don't know. Did someone say it in the chat? I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't I know. Hate, I'm not even looking. I hate Periscope chat. Like, <sighs> with Twitch and everything like that, it stays so you can, you know, catch up on things. That just fucking disappears. Yeah, I, I don't know. If you don't catch it when it comes up, that's it. Why isn't there, like, a like a constant I have like, no flow idea. of, like, what's happening? I don't know. Here? There's some things I could do on my phone on Periscope that I can't do on my computer and the other way around. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think know. it's still in, like, beta. There's a lot of beta shit on here and everything like that. But, yeah, um... So I actually just started on, and I will not call you Grace. <laughs> it's just weird. Jason should call you Grace. He's the one buying you a $5,000 wedding ring. Well, I wish it was a $5,000 wedding ring, but let's be serious. But yeah. it's not going to be a $5,000 yeah, wedding ring. Yeah, I don't think I could. But it's okay, though, because it's cool. I love him. Just him. Has, has dating Jason changed your view on love? Completely. And relationships? Completely. What, what, what's changed? Oh, my God. So, first, I spent 17 years with a complete fucking moron who, by the way, I did love very much and did stand beside and was always a good wife and a good mom. And he treated me like complete shit. But I grew up with families who were never divorced. So, I kind of felt like it was my bed. I had to lay in it and deal with it. And mm -hmm. this was going to be how life would be from now on. So I just learned to accept it. And then I stopped caring about what was happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then, you know, he cheated. And then and then he lied. And then all these lies came out. And then it was like 17 years of, of a relationship or time or effort that I put into my marriage and, and my relationship since I was in high school really meant nothing. So he was your high school sweetheart? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Since I was 15. We were together from 15 till I was 31. So now you're in your 30s and mm -hmm. you're dating again for the first time. Yes. And it's completely different. Completely different. Completely different. I had no idea that a man could love someone so... How disgusting for everybody. Honestly. <laughs> and so openly and so amazingly. Like, Jay said, I'm <coughs> conceited, but... <laughs> Being with Jason, it makes it really hard not to be. He's yeah. always telling me that I'm beautiful, always tells me I look sexy, always tells me that, you know, I truly feel like when I'm around him, mm. you know, that I am attractive and sexy. I spent 17 years being told that I was too fat. I got yelled at for <laughs> eating a bowl of ice cream. Are you like, serious? Yeah. He yelled at you for eating a bowl of ice yes, cream. Yes, I was having a bowl of ice cream. I was a little bit overweight, I'm not going to lie. But you live with a man like I lived with for that long, and you would be fat too. Like... So you're just, well, if a, if a guy's doing that, you're going to be unhappy. And yes. if you're going to be unhappy, you're going to go to your friends, Ben and Jerry. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I get a bowl of ice cream. I went and sat down on the couch and he was like, oh, I'm pretty sure that uh, that ice cream's the last goddamn thing you need there. <laughs> I was like, huh? <laughs> well, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and eat it anyways. I was going to say, knowing you, I don't think you stopped. No. <laughs> I would have went over and just dumped it on his head. I know. I should have been so much more. Of a bitch. Yes. Yeah. I even left him get away easy in the divorce. Like. Yeah. I remember you telling me. I was like, God, he got away fucking easy. Yeah. Yeah. She she made more money than him and all that. She, you could have just fucking raped him. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't. I didn't. So you weren't allowed to eat ice cream. No, I wasn't really allowed to eat because I was fat. <laughs> like, I don't, like, I mean, it wasn't like he controlled my eating. But well, you pushed a human like, being out of you. Of course, you're going to be fat after that. Well, I mean, except that's the problem. I wasn't. I lost like 100 pounds after I had Abby and then gained a ton of weight back. No. Oh. Did you yeah. have a C-section? No. No. Oh, okay. I think I feel like, I, you know, I've never given birth, so I don't know this. I feel like they just do C-sections. Oh. Like they they like to do them. Why? 
Fucking you f- so, <laughs> it's just so. Is it less bullshit when you cut someone open than when you squeeze them out of your fucking you know panty hamster? I just don't get it. <laughs> I feel like uh, C sections are a much more medically secure way of giving birth now, um, because they're just opening up the stomach. They're misplacing the woman's organs basically outside of her body. Yeah, and popping the water bag and bringing the baby out. And it's done in a matter of just a couple minutes from the time that the mother is put in and put under. Well, not under, but is given the epidural. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, from there, it's done in a couple of minutes. When you are actually giving birth, I mean, it could take a couple hours to th- two days. Like, it's not so. Quick. So, yeah. So, that makes sense. So, you just cut the fucking stomach open. Mm-hmm. You, you pop it with a hanger. Oh, that's abortion. Never mind. Yeah, that's totally um, not it. <laughs> you <laughs> pop the water, and then the baby comes out. So, yeah. that I, I can see how that's easier than pushing a kid for fucking three days or something. Yeah. Like, yeah. my mom, I think her first... Uh, oh, my sister, Tara, I think it was a two-day birth or something oh, like Christ. that. That's fucking insane. That's retarded. I just... Man, women got the shit in. I don't think I could be born a woman. First of all, I'd forget to take my birth control. I just know that would be a fucking problem. And the depo shot or whatever, the the horror stories you told me about that, I'm just staying the fuck away from that shit. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't know. I think it's very strange that women are on birth control. I don't think you should fuck with nature. Um, but, but like regular birth control, the birth control that you take just by pill or whatever like Mm -hmm. that. What's that do? Does that just stop over reproduction? It stops. It builds up a wall around your uterus. So it's so instead of calling it birth control, you should call it Trump control because it wants to build a wall. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, That's I'm proud funny. of that one. I'm That's proud. Of, I know I'm proud good. of that one. That was good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, basically, um, it still build it builds like a up a, a wall around your uterus. So you know, every month when you bleed, that's it's it, that's the lining of your uterus shedding, and all of that. So it's like out. a cat. Kind of not, but. <laughs> Then so wait a minute, wait a minute. I never wait, wait. Hold the phone. Yes. So the blood coming from a woman's period is her uterus, the, uterus, the lining. uterus. That the sounds lining. like a Jewish vegetable. Yes. Hey, let's make some matzah and some uterus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a uh, uterus. Uh huh. Okay. The blood is from your uterus shedding. Yeah. I never knew that. Shedding the lining. Yeah. What are you a snake? I knew women were serpents. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. So it sheds the lining, right? And then you bleed. Then after you bleed, that's when you become fertile. If you don't bleed, yeah, you I, don't I, become fertile. Uh, yeah, I know that. So I just never knew that it's your you. So you're basically like <laughs> just shed. It's so weird. Do you know why it sheds? <laughs> why? Because then your uterus is down to a single lining. So mm-hmm. when you become fertile and you get pregnant. When the egg and sperm come together, it's easier for the sperm to get it's in. It's easier for the both of them to implant into the uterus and become a baby. Oh my God, you said that like you're so happy about it. You're like, ah, oh, life. <laughs> well, it's cute life for is people created. that want them. I mean, if you still want kids, I mean, I love, I love my kid, but. Would you have another kid if you a, could? No. They can't reverse the surgery. Uh, no, they can't. Oh, they can't. No, but even if they could, I would Like, wouldn't. say someone else died the same blood type as you. Could they take their battery wires out and put them in yours? I don't think so. <laughs> I can not do sure. that. I don't think you can rehook it up. I don't... Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but that makes sense because uh, I was talking to my internet friends the other day, and we were talking about how sperms actually get into the egg, and we thought, do they have teeth? <laughs> no, no. It was just a joke, but I know. Uh, but no, just they laughing just about mesh. it. I always thought that like they just mesh. They just mesh. I, yeah, like it's it, so it weird. like it, like attaches almost to it. Of Ugh, course, it does because so that's weird. what guys do. <laughs> what just use you for your the just, baby making product? to you. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Yeah, so I I didn't know the pills. I knew the depo shot just made your eggs stick to your uterus so they didn't fall down or something. Right? right? Yeah, yeah. So basically that's it. Then then that's the lining. Okay. And then your lining builds up when you're on a birth control. That lining just continues to build up. That's why. That's why. Wait a minute. Wouldn't, wouldn't you get fatter then? <laughs> oh, get fatter. If something's getting more lining on it, I'm feeling like you're just like putting on like 50 T-shirts. Well, that would be like the. Yeah, well, yes, that is like how the depot would work because it builds up. But you have birth control that you can take monthly mm-hmm. and your your lining doesn't really build up. It's just stopping like you're, you still bleed. You just don't generate the egg. That's so fucking weird, man. I'm so glad I was born a man. 
Well, yeah. I wouldn't call myself a man, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't have my my uterus doesn't shed like a serpent that I knew women were. <laughs> yeah, every 28 oh. days. Oh, that's so weird, dude. I just I can't I can't do it. I just I'm so glad I'm not a woman. I'm so glad that you guys got to deal with. But you guys get multiple orgasms, so I think you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we get multiple orgasms if the man that's trying to give us an orgasm knows how to do it. Yeah, but do it's you hard. Know, most men don't get it. I know, but see, men have – our batteries drain faster than your guys's. Well, that's changed, like, but that's – We can sit and smoke a cigar with our penis and talk to it, and it still won't get up. Okay? Women, you know, they don't have to do that. <laughs> I mean, no, but – And that's where I think, you know, you guys got all the bad shit, but you got multiple orgasms. I mean, we do, like I said, though, but, like, you're guaranteed to get off. Yeah. <laughs> Coke dick's a hell of a thing. Yes, but like normal instance, you're guaranteed to get off. It's just so it warm down there. so <laughs> difficult for a woman to have an orgasm. Mm -hmm. Like I always just call it an inner or an outer orgasm. So it's so, much, so it's like an inner or outer yeah, belly. Yeah, it's button. so much more difficult for a woman to have an inner orgasm than it than it is for her to have an outer orgasm. Yeah, because I was dating a girl that said that her jeans would rub up against her sometimes. She fucking yeah. have an orgasm well I well mean, she was a whore so clearly. <laughs> uh, but i can't disagree with her like i'm in like my prime and there have been times like where i have gone a very long stretch of not having sex mm -hmm. and being super horny yeah and my jeans rubbing up against it <laughs> so you, so what are you gonna do if you're walking down like the grocery store and it happens you just stop do you like, just i just stopped walking and then would like readjust oh so this jeans. happened oh it's happened to me yeah <laughs> you're like where's the nearest yeah, wet floor sign are they like, mopping anywhere it, it doesn't give you a complete <laughs> orgasm like it just gives you that really high intense when you're in your prime and 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 you haven't had sex in a while, mm -hmm. you could fucking breathe on it and it's gonna give you an orgasm. <laughs> like, it's so, rough. Oh, uh, when you said it like that, I just imagined someone like when it's you know cold out, you breathe on a window and you write your name. Yeah, <laughs> I don't um, know yeah. Of that. yeah. Oh, Seriously, man. that just sounds god awful. It's fucking amazing, honestly, because I have Jason and Jason knows exactly what he's doing. So. It, he never fails me. <laughs> he never <laughs> fails you, mm -mm. except with this proposal to marry. You. I mean, that's taken a while, but... <laughs> oh, you know, the man. sex has been great since like day one. So that's good. Yeah, that's always good. Yeah, I think sex is important in relationships. It's it's very big deal. Yes. I spent seventeen years, never had one single orgasm with your first husband. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? <laughs> uh, wouldn't that'd be, that be something? I'd be funny. He does not know. I have not told him. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you don't want to embarrass a man like that. Mm. <laughs> you don't care. Mm -mm. No, that's weird. I, but that's the thing. A lot of people go their whole lives without orgasming. Mm -hmm. It's really sad, up. actually. Yeah. Like, I used to be very closed-minded about it. Like, I, I cannot get an orgasm from the inside. Mm -hmm. So I, my ex-husband and I did not talk about stuff like that for whatever reason. I don't know why. We were together a really long time. You'd think yeah. that we would have talked about stuff like that. But we don't or didn't. And thank God we don't. But we definitely didn't. And so he had no idea that I couldn't get an orgasm from the inside. And he wasn't the kind of guy that was overly um, emotional. Well, that too. <laughs> yeah. Sex wasn't about like much participation. It was real quick. There wasn't a lot of foreplay for him. He mm. was definitely just. I mean, well, That's what I was saying. Well, no, 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 no. Wait a second. There was plenty of time for foreplay for him. <laughs> but there was not time for foreplay for me. And so he was just a selfish man. Very self with everything, it, yeah. with everything, just everything, all of it. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't, and see, that's the thing. You were still managed to stay long for how many years? Yeah. Seventeen. Seventeen. And that just sounds god awful. <laughs> I mean, looking back, it wasn't such a great time. <laughs> yeah. Now that you, th you should write a book. I thought about it. I actually said to Jason a couple weeks ago <laughs> I was going to write a book. You should write a book and call it High School Sweethearts. Uh. And just write how horrible it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't do it. Like, don't, don't do it. I so, thought for sure that I was going to be the different one. I know, because it's just, it's weird to me that, you know, you're, what, two years older than me? I think. One? One. I don't know. You're a couple years older than me. And it's I, just. Can we just say one? <laughs> <laughs> we'll say one. Uh, you're a couple years older than me, and you've basically dated less than I have. Yeah. Because of a high school I had no year. idea how to date. When, yeah. I, when I separated from him, I had no clue. And God love Chelsea because I don't think that I could have gotten through my dating time <laughs> without her. Like, I didn't even know what half the shit meant. Like, you, <laughs> look, man, when I was in high school, 
you were either dating or you, you were. weren't. Yeah. There, now, there, now there's we're talking, we're chilling, yep, we're hanging yep, out, Netflix we're Netflix and, and chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, there's friends, friends with benefits, uh, people you just fuck. Yeah. Like, I don't really know where where you are at in life. Like, I don't mm-hmm. know where anybody's at in life. I can't figure out where myself is. I could go on four dates with a guy and I'm saying to Chelsea, we're dating. And she's like, well, did you officially say you were dating? I was like, I don't know. We went on four dates. I know. Isn't that multiple when they're not going to be yeah. considered dating? He's just like, I mean, you could be just chilling. I know. I'm and like, you're- what? And that's the thing. Like, I was talking to Jay about this. He's like, dating's not that strange anymore. I'm like, yes, it is, because you've been, Jay's been married for I don't know how long. He doesn't know what dating's like anymore. And like you said, back in high school, back when we were younger, dating was just dating. You were either dating or you weren't. Mm-hmm. You just whatever. You, you were know? or you weren't. There was you no... liked each other. You liked each other. Yeah. Now it's so fucking confusing. Uh, you just people, I just, it's so, it's completely different. Completely different than it was. No one knows what they want. No uh, one does. Even if they do, they don't know how to explain it. And, you know, I'm not even going to lie. I had a hard time. Like, people would come to me and they'd... There was a... there. You know, I wasn't not looking for a serious relationship, but I wasn't straight up looking for one either. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people would always ask me, you know, what are you looking for? You know, and my answer would very simply be, all I want in my life right now is to have fun. I spent 17 years with the same person. For the first time really in my life, I am single Mm -hmm. and I want to experience dating. I want to experience going out. I want to experience being with my friends. I want to experience making bad decisions and doing things that I shouldn't because I never did. But if the right man would come along, I would stop all of that to Mm -hmm. be with the right guy. So I was looking, but I wasn't looking. I wasn't going to turn it away, but I wasn't strictly like if. Hey, look, if a hot guy sent me a message on Plenty of Fish or whatever, <laughs> you know, and was like, you know, talk to me for a couple of days and wanted to have sex. That's where I was at in my life. Mm-hmm. That's all I really wanted. I didn't want to need anything but, else. All right. Say, all right. You just got the divorce or whatever like that. Did you have that outlook after the divorce or did this this dating cesspool or whatever you want to call it make you like that? What would you say? I would say... It was like, w- did you have high hopes when you first started dating again? No, you didn't. No, you already went in like, fuck this. Mm-hmm. Men are disgusting. I hate them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> OK, all right. Because I thought maybe that, you know, you did have high hopes because you were only with this guy for 17 years and only him, basically. I know. But like in my head, like I spent my entire life trusting one man to be truthful yeah. and faithful to me. And he destroyed. I thought <laughs> he destroyed me. Yeah. So. To me, you know, I, I, I really didn't know. You're right. I didn't know what other guys were like, Mm -hmm. but I would base it all off of what I knew. So, and you know what? I did date a lot of guys and there were a few guys that I thought I could be serious with, but they never failed to disappoint me. And every (laughs) single one of them did. And we're not talking about just sexual. We're talking about just with choices. Some of them, you know, I mean, I'm not going to talk about that because Jason, (laughs) but some of them that wasn't even an issue but who they were as a person or instances where i just was not even close to ready for that but most of the time i was disappointed and i would say to both chelsea and my friend kristen all the time like i'm tired like i'm tired of looking i'm tired of being disappointed i'm tired of not finding someone i'm tired of wasting my time and my money and you know, I, I get excited and then I, I go out on this date and and I get there and he's nothing like he seems he was going he's to be. He's not like the pictures. Or he doesn't. He, you have no idea. <laughs> Thank God. Like people using those angles and filter. I mean, not that I, I don't do it. I, I do. I do also do it. I mean, I'm so a little chunky. Sometimes filters hide that. <laughs> I know because like I'll fucking you know you you see this girl and she's cute and everything like that and then you meet her and you can't go in the elevator together because there's a pound limit (laughs) oh snap like crack a pop I like I went on a date with a guy that like I went into Fridays to hi baby (laughs) (laughs) I went into uh, Fridays just to tell them that I needed like a table for two Mm mm-hmm and I came back outside and he was talking to another guy. Like, I legit met him five minutes prior after an argument on the phone with him about him being stupid and not being able to find where I was at in Waynesport. Your daughter. <laughs> Your daughter's saying hi. 
<laughs> oh my god chelsea don't let her watch this <laughs> yeah, she has a tenure <laughs> Jesus. abigail oh. stop <laughs> oh she said your full name that means you're in deep shit stop get the that. fuck off the internet and go clean your room <laughs> good god oh yeah abby if, if i love you too baby <laughs> if you're watching this i have uh your soccer pictures you could smile more no i'm just joking Great soccer pitchers. <laughs> you can smile more. Just, I'm just joking, Abby. Love you. Um, yeah, I saw your soccer pitchers. Too late. <laughs> oh. Oh, well. I didn't even realize she was. Oh, yeah, she went to the mall, didn't she? Yeah, she's back now. Yeah. What did you get, Abby? Did you get any cool toys or anything? <laughs> That's the thing. When when uh, your father takes Abby to the mall, she brings back the weirdest shit. I know, because he just lets her buy whatever she wants. Yeah, like she brought back these pads that you put on your chest <laughs> and you threw slime balls at you <laughs> like they were like slime <laughs> balls like this and you had to hit each other in the chest with it <laughs> i was like where in the fuck do you buy booger That's balls just at? It. i don't even know where she finds the stupid shit that oh she my buys. god i was like what the fuck when i was little we had fucking legos <laughs> she has plenty of legos oh she does yeah but she puts them she got a phone case oh okay she puts them all together and then leaves them together yeah, but but she's gotten so used to doing them that mm -hmm. she puts like the really big ones together in like a few hours. Oh, okay. So I feel like I waste my money now. Eh, that's why you gotta have a Lego room. I know. I wanna <laughs> have. I wanna like shelf her bedroom. Like so those forty-year-old virgins that have like uh, Star Wars rooms and shit like that. Right. Have you ever seen Star Wars? The last one. The last one. <laughs> which? Okay, you gotta explain. <laughs> which? Which last one? The one the most recent. Let's okay. This is too G rated. Let's move on. Sheesh. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Chelsea? Wait, tell me that you're Chelsea now and not a, and not Abby. Yeah, we can't tell who it is. That was Jason. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. Since that's too G, let's talk about Jason's sex life. Okay. <laughs> J Jason. <laughs> Jason thinks this is too G rated. How big? No, I don't want to know this. Stuff. Oh. <laughs> I'm I don't I don't want to know this stuff. But um we can talk about Jason. Jason's awesome in the bedroom. <laughs> Jason's awesome. Well, not having Okay, or Abby's still there. <laughs> not having an orgata orgatasm. That sounds like Jesus. a tang drink. Orange flavored tangerism. <laughs> um yeah, if not having an orgasm for 17 years, of course Jason's going to be amazing. <laughs> uh, well, way to like tear it down there. No, 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 no. But no, I had lots of sex in between there. I mean, oh, yeah, that's right. You did. I did. Yeah, plenty of fish. I've never been on there because it scares the fuck out of me. There's some weird fucking people. There on are there. some really weird people on there. There are people that ask me to do things that I, um, I, <laughs> there are people. Yeah, when you come over for sex and you bring people. a half eaten lamb's leg, don't ask questions, just bring it over. I've had, like, and it's happened to, it's happened to Chelsea too, like, and it's got to be, like, a very common thing, but I've had guys, like, offer to pay me, like, like a hundred bucks to five hundred bucks if I just went to their house and kicked them in the balls. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. Why did you do it? No. <laughs> Why not? That's not safe. Five hundred dollars to kick a guy's in the balls. But that's mm -hmm. funny you said that because I seen this HBO special years ago where this guy was paying prostitutes twenty bucks a pin to put in his nutsack. Ah. And they did it in the back of a taxi, and he just kept giving them twenty bucks, and he would take these pins and put them in his balls. And I don't know what that does for a man, but being one and having, you know, a sperm sack, that doesn't sound good. I feel like whatsoever. he just, he has to acquire a certain amount of pain to achieve orgasm. And at this point, he's done it so much that that is the only place he can achieve maximum It's like that movie pain. that you watched with Jason. Yes, it is. That's I, exactly how I don't it know is. what that movie was called. But I this... don't either, but it was fantastic. And we had a lot of sex there. <laughs> There was this movie. Uh, her boy watch that movie again. <laughs> her boyfriend was telling me about it, and I forget what it's called. But this girl can't orgasm. It's like duct tape down there. I don't know. I don't know. I feel super fucking bad for her, though. I know what that bitch is like. Seventeen years. <laughs> Seventeen years. <laughs> <laughs> but she can't have an orgasm, so she tries weird shit. Like she hires guys to like beat it with a stick and shit, mm -hmm. and then she like tries to have gang rapes and all this stuff just to get some kind of feeling down there, and she can never do it. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, but Jason was telling me about it. Yeah, it's a really good movie. Uh, you don't remember what it was called? I have no clue. Okay. And there was a couple of them, I think, wasn't there? Yeah, there is. Yeah, it's really He's sadistic. Cool. He's really good for finding really good, like, non-mainstream type movies. That That's because are... all the best ones. Well, what do you got to look forward to these days? Trans fucking formers? Those movies suck more dick than a porn star. It's ridiculous. Damn. You like those movies. I like the first one. <laughs> oh, my God. 
I didn't know what they were. I'm so You don't like the one with Mark Wahlberg? I do, because he's hot. (laughs) He's actually, did you see Stepdad yet? Mm Mm-hmm. They're making another one. I know. Where uh, Mark Wahlberg's dad is Mel Gibson. That's awesome. <laughs> and John Lithgow is um, Will Ferrell's dad. And they're completely different. And it actually looks... I still got to watch the first one. You didn't see the first one? No, I haven't yet. It is really funny. It is funny. Yeah. Okay. Is it rated R? I don't think. No. Oh. Plus, a uh, new Jumanji movie's coming out. Did you see that? I said with The Rock. Yes. And Chris Hart or Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. Sorry. They all look like... Um, <laughs> <laughs> iTunes is gonna ban us now. <laughs> Where's the white person? There's no white person. Ah, uh, there's two white. There's Jack Black, and there's some hot slut that I would love to try anal with, but well, I of course don't... they have to have a female. Oh, she's fucking smoking hot. Um, and I can't remember her name, but she has red hair, and I think she was in like some fucking um Avengers movie or some shit. But I can't remember what her name is. But I don't really like it because they go inside of a video game. Yeah, they go inside of a video game. Like, it's not a board game like the original with Robin hanging yourself, Williams. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's um, it's a, like, PlayStation-type console <sighs> thing, and they go inside that world. That's dumb. I know. I, what I liked about the first one is the they had, like, the world. kids wouldn't understand it anyways now. It's going to be geared towards kids, and the kids are going to be like, like, what the fuck's a board they're game? They're like, this is boring. Where's the fidget spinners? I don't understand. <laughs> Why is there cardboard? I know. That's What's the, the cardboard? That's what I liked about the original one, because, like, they had the world coming in through the other one. Like, they had, like, shit going through the house. Now they're just completely immersed in this world, and I don't like it. Well, that's that was not even how it was supposed to be. Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck. I don't like it when they reduce stuff. Like, I know. I don't change either. it. What would you say your favorite movie is? Oh, Christ. Um, Showgirls? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I've never seen that movie. I do absolutely love The Wizard of Oz, and, and but I don't know if I'd call that my favorite, but I do love it. Um, uh, I love Pretty Woman. That might be oh, one of my favorites. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, that movie? I love Pretty it. Woman? Yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah, I, oh, okay, I think I know why, because he buys her stuff. <laughs> and he's rich. Well, I, I mean... <laughs> and he's rich. She does... F- she does find Prince Charming. <laughs> <laughs> That's like people were making the point, you know, the reason why um, the Fifty Shades of Grey books were so popular is because he was rich. If he was well, poor, it probably wouldn't have... I would be free as fuck I he know. Was poor. It's weird. But it's not. But it's just weird that a woman wrote it and the guy's rich in it, you know, who wouldn't Because it's our fantasy. <laughs> See, and this is why I don't believe in stereotypes, <laughs> because women just love money. Mm. And it's just a piece of paper. First of all, <laughs> women and men love money. Uh, it is not. It is not. I just know, but, one gender. But, or the but, other. Here's the thing. Women are like sneaky by it. Men just kill people for it. <laughs> like diamonds. Like how many little kids died for the diamond Jason's going to buy you? Well, everybody has a place in life. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Abby, are you watching? This is your mother. <laughs> she should listen more to Mimi and not to your mother. What's that? She should listen more to Mimi. Yes. No, so well, Mimi likes expensive things, too, we found. Yeah, she does. We're, <laughs> we're an expensive group of bitches around here. Yes. Yes, Sarah. I never knew that. Um, after I knew Ashley for a while, I didn't know she had such a choir taste. I'm super handy. But then I sh- saw her shoe closet. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck is all this bullshit? And not only that, but he only saw the one shoe closet. He didn't see the other closet. You have another shoe closet. That is also full of shoes. You have two shoe closets. I have two I have two closets that I use for all my clothes and my shoes. And then I have my dresser that has like six or seven. Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine drawers. Jesus. <laughs> and that's when I was like. I never saw that, though, because you never portrayed that you had acquired tastes until I seen your shoe closet. And then you were just telling me about stuff you spent money on. And I'm like, holy fuck. Yeah. What's the most expensive shoes you've ever bought? Uh, probably like 140 bucks. That ain't bad. Nah. I would if depending on the shoe, I might. That's the only piece of clothing I would spend a lot of money on is shoes. Yeah. I don't oh. really. Everything else is Walmart five fucking dollars. What the fuck? No. <laughs> no. You would never wear Walmart clothes? I'm, I have not. <laughs> You're like, how dare you? I, I am your grace. <laughs> yes, yes, my grace. Thank you. Oh, man. I can just um, picture you and Jason role playing with that. <laughs> oh, I have not. But we might. <laughs> oh, Jesus. The sex scenes in Game of Thrones. How... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is why it takes us so long to catch up right now, Casey. We can't get through a damn episode because there's either two lesbians fucking yeah. or there is... I 
mean, I'm just going to throw it out there. They are just two gays fucking. And even though I'm not, I don't really want to watch that. It's still sex. So then therefore I'm still like, well, hey, we can fuck. And then fucking happens all just the Just wait time. till the fourth season. My favorite character, Aubrey and Martell the Viper. He's just, he fucks anything. It's amazing. Jesus Christ. But he's I mean, so like amazing. Though. He's so amazing. I cannot wait. Oh, jeez. You got to catch up though. The seven, the, the new season starts in like nine days. Well, if Jason would quit his damn job, we'd have all day. Jason, quit your job, god damn it. <laughs> fuck, man. I don't know. Like, when I'm that unhappy about a job, I got to get the fuck out, Jason. You're going to end up killing yourself, man. Yeah, please don't, because I really love you. And she I still wants the you. wedding ring. Yeah. <laughs> Just get her a twist tie, Jason. Do Jesus not buy Christ. me a twist tie, Jason. <laughs> One of those bread ties. <laughs> Have, do you shop at Wise's? Yeah. I don't know why this pisses me off so much, but they changed their bread. Okay. <laughs> And the thing that pisses me off about it is their bread comes in a plastic bag now in another plastic bag. Oh, like it's double bags. Why? <laughs> I'm sitting there. Wait, does I, it help with freshness? I don't fucking know. It tastes the goddamn same to me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I just want my fucking bread, man. How come no one's talking? Because, I don't know, everyone's scared. <laughs> Am I that intimidating? I don't know. Let's see if I can type something here. Uh, let's see. What should I say? What's up, sluts? Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, you can type anything you want here. Hi, baby. <laughs> Abby's still watching. <laughs> and I just said, what's up, sluts? <laughs> Abby, that's a bad word. Don't you use that. Don't use that. That's a, that's. You are that ugly. <laughs> Ew. Is that Chelsea? That has to be Chelsea. Yeah, her friends call each other ugly all the time. Yeah, we do. And I see Megan. There's a Mega Lex. Is that you, Megan? The is that, one I know. Megs, is that you? Is that you? Say yes or no. Okay. Nod it. Nod or blink your eyes twice if if you're allowed to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. She's been. She might have connection issues. She's. I've been seeing her going in and out of the chat all night. Oh well, she might also have to take care of her kid. <laughs> Who's that? Yes. Oh, it is her. Hi. How are you doing, Megan? How's life? <laughs> To me, it's taken forever. <laughs> but anyways, I think that's about it. We're about out of time. I want to thank Ashley for uh, coming on and co-hosting uh, in the place of Jay because uh, Jay's getting salt water in his pee hole today. So, uh, thank Oh, I hope that happens. Oh, that's so funny. I mean, it's not really. It's not funny. That shouldn't happen. Fan-fucking-tastic. Yes, it is, Megan. Um so yeah thank you everyone for watching um anyone that wants to follow us we are on twitter we are on uh the youtubes uh twatter already said that um facebook yeah so drop us a line uh thanks again for ashley uh she only took one sip of her beer uh <laughs> yep i really did my boyfriend would be so disappointed right now yeah he's like how could i buy a ring for that That's so ridiculous. <laughs> but um like i, I said don't even like the bud <laughs> <laughs> thank you everyone um again uh have a good one we will see you next week where jay gets back see you later bye this has been the openly hostile opinions podcast <laughs>